Oh man, I've tried everything. I've gone right to the bottom of the river. All I can think of is the river seems to have calmed down, so maybe I can cross it at some point. I have no idea. Like, I love that the game doesn't tell you this. Like, see over there? Can I cross here? I can't. Oh, I can. Can I? Oh my god. I thought I could get over from from that way. This is really strange, but also interesting. That's a weird rock. Something in the rock. <laughs> but it's not. So I'm guessing I'm doing the right thing. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, but hopefully it leads to something cool. What I think is going to happen is the thing at the we're going to meet the grandfather or something because we haven't seen much of him and the thing at the beginning of this uh, whole game you know with the rail car and all that I think that's actually the end Even of the story close. I could feel him a pinprick of light in the darkness he would know me he would know why I'd come there's a lot of stuttering in this game but we're on the right path as that voiceover tells you. Oh my god, the sun is setting on the vanishing of Ethan Carter. I can feel us reaching the end of the game as the water is so still. Man, the reflections on that water is beautiful. I've never seen reflections like that. I know you can get mods for Skyrim and stuff, but if Skyrim looked like this, I mean, holy shit, it'd be amazing. I do think my computer is struggling because my FPS is really good but the game seems to keep stuttering like it keeps loading stuff. Oh my goodness, what the hell is this? It's a burnt down place with a lion in front. Oh my god. Hey guys, what's going on? Often put to guard stuff. These embers are still burning. Holy shit, do I just go in? Hello? Ethan, are you in here? You have vanished and I have come to find you. Oh, shit the bed. Another... Another one of these puzzles. Then fight are, it! Oh. I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Corvus. Oh, shit. I, uh... I couldn't find Corvus in time. Damn it. What's this? There's a pillar of some sort. Am I gonna burn my feet? Ah, ah, it's hot. Hot. Man, where the fuck was Corvus? I didn't get it in time. Oh my god, what do I have to do here? I have to solve another puzzle. I need more clues, game. Can I have more clues, please? Damn it, where is Corvus? Is there anything else here for me? Ethan, I need your help, buddy. I'm really confused. I don't know what's over there. Looks like nothing. It's an expansive nothingness. Do I come back here? Do I go over there? Oh, hill walking? Oh my god. This is so great. Even though I'm confused as hell. Oh, what? He's up there. Oh, nothing. <sighs> okay, let's let's try and use our common sense and think about this. Whoa, I thought I heard noise. It spells something. Do I have to spell Corvus? Oh my god, I do. Uh, or not. Or I do. Oh, I do! <laughs> yeah! I am a genius! Oh, okay. Do I really want to go down there? Mm. Ethan? 
Oh my god. Ethan? You're fucking burnt! Holy shit. Charred. Dot 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 dots. Peaceful. Did you fucking kill yourself? What happened to you, man? Alright. Oh. The last puzzle, maybe. What happened here? Oh my god, they're trying to. S Ethan and his grandfather are trying to stop whatever's coming in. And now they're at the table. Ethan's like, hey, let me move this giant fucking table to block the door. <laughs> His grandfather's like, you idiot, that's a really terrible idea. Uh, so I guess this is number one. There's gasoline everywhere. Goodness me. Uh, let's tag this, please. So, they came in, put gasoline everywhere, locked the door. Ethan, I fought it off. Themselves. It's okay. Grandpa! Get away from me! Your grandmother Gail is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. Oh shit. He's I lying. found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! Whoa. When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Oh, goodness. No, you don't. That's a bad idea. I can squeeze through. Oh, God. Shit, what happened? Gail, it has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! That's the gra the grandfather that died. That wasn't Ethan's body. Have to die. Even you, even me. Holy shit. He doesn't give a fuck, he's on fire right now. I swear that was like a little Ethan body, but his grandfather. I should have known because of the little hat. Oh no, the hat's not there, what am I talking about? Okay, we have to go in this room now. Grandpa, you crazy bastard. Ethan, are you still in here? Oh my god, it's... This is freaky as hell. Holy shit. There you are. You vanished and now you have appeared. Ethan, wake up. Well, kid, you stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you... Are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Oh, what? Um... Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Okay. That was all in the spirit realm. Uh, at least he has a saucepan to cook food. Okay, bridge is where we started. Dam is where we were just now. Church, we've already been there. This place. Stories. Question mark. Space capsule, yeah, that was crazy. House of portals, the witch forest. Been there, done that. Ancient god. Huh. Hey, I don't think... What is that? No, we haven't... We've done everything but that. 
What's ancient god? I don't remember that. Oh, that was... okay. Oh, actually, I don't know. Well, it looks like we have to go back here. Stories. Oh, that's cool. I don't have them all, though. I need to get this one? What is this one? Well, back to the start of the bridge. Has this got something to do with the traps? Because that thing looked like a trap there on the wall. Whoa! Fucking hell. Jump scares, man. I can't deal with that. There's one. Uh, the other one was... I gotta trigger them again. There's one here, right? Um, I completely missed it. Okay. There's another one. Is there a third one somewhere? Man, where's the third trap? I gotta go explore these parts then. I gotta trigger the... Okay, there we go. Is, this, is there any more? Please let this be the last one. Oh, there's fucking more. Okay. Keep your fucking eyes out, ladies and gentlemen. There are traps about this forest. Huh! Fucking that one got me, man. My legs would be cut off. Any more? Oh my god, there's more. Jeez, I... My heart can't take this anymore. <gasps> Goodness gracious. The trap's here. Where's the last trap, goddammit? Oh, jeez. Jeez, Louise. Um, I'm kind of lost now. I guess this was... Trap here. Maybe it's on the other side then. Christ. It scared the shit out of me, man. There has to be another trap somewhere, but I remember exploring here in the first episode. I didn't see anything. Oh, this sucks that, um. They're trapped. Yo! Hello. Ah, you're the last one. Please fucking be the last one. There we go. What did that do? Oh, here we go. Here's, a, here's a, another one of Ethan's stories. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this. Because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Yeah, right, Ed. You liar. There's a bottle of sap there. Goodness me. Alright then. Oh, here we go. One dead in house fire. Oh, Christ, okay. The fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out in a remote house once owned by Van de Krift. Gail Carter was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members able to escape. Gail Carter is the grandmother. Her husband Edwin told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. They are right. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until 5 a.m. They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hotspots which had rekindled. The house has still got embers, man. He didn't do a very good job. Assisting the, the medical services. 
Well, shit. Let me read that again. The... The grandmother was found dead? Yeah. Yeah, the grandmother and... Oh, here we go. There's this a second bit. Members of the Vandercrift family again gathered in the Bayfield courthouse to debate the fate of the Vandercrift fortune, which has remained in the school. He died in a mine accident, the after effects of which nearly destroyed Vandercrift's industrial and severely damaged the local economy. James Vandercrift of Chicago argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that the Vandercrift family members had personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley or the Vandercrift estate, as stipulated in the Elder Will. The recent fire in which the home was damaged said only underlined his family's concern. The Carter family has lived upon the former estate as temporary caretakers. Alright. So that was there. They were living there. The grandmother died in there. Um. Alright, do I have to go back to the house now? That's a long ass trek, you know. Unless it's nearby. Oh, there's a big sign. Is it? No, that's not a sign. <laughs> Do I have to run back to the house? I mean, jeez. I should be able to teleport or something. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. Oh, it's fucking miles away. Oh, well. Fast forward. Well, I'll tell you what. That was a long, long trek to get me back here. It gave me a lot of time to think about the story and stuff, and what I don't know. We don't know who Corvus is. We don't really know who the Sleeper is. These are all just really vague terms that they've been throwing around. What I know, I think I do now, is I solve that um, first puzzle that we should have solved right at the beginning of the game. So I'm guessing that this should work now. Please. There we go. Christ, Ethan. You're in here again? You missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> Get out hey, of Ma, here, Travis. Hey, Ma! He's in here! Oh, Christ. Am I gonna play as Ethan? Honey, be careful with that lamp. Dale, what the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake, you missed dinner! I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out the here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad, shut up. You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Hey. Travis, let's go. Come Don't on. use those faggot. terms. Ethan, you're a fucking faggot. Travis, stop it. Oh. oh shit. Shit. Everyone, go. Get out. Get out. The smoke, it's toxic. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What do we do? <coughs> Whoa, man, I'm gonna die in here. <coughs> Holy shit. Paul Prospero was a creation of Ethan's mind. I'm a... I'm a fucking story. He just went to sleep. I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did, but my story's done, and it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? 
Dude died next to the stories, man. Ethan, you son of a bitch. You created all this in your head. Wow. Oh, this is cool. It was all the mother's fault. She's dropped the lamp. They told her to be careful with it, she dropped it. She's like, get the fuck out of here, give me the water. I gotta put the fire out, man. Why are you wearing such a big vest? Save our son. Chad just bumped his head on a wooden post. Travis is on fire. Try to put it out on his back. Poor little guy, the whole house fucking burnt down. It's a big house too. Wow, that's some ending, man. That really f messed with my mind there. Wouldn't have expected anything less of the game. Which is great. Really fucking enjoy this game. I don't know if you can tell. Some of the episodes might have been a bit boring or nothing much happening. I'm exploring a bit, but that's part of the fun of the game is just exploring and getting lost, I guess. So it's hard to turn that into an episode that would entertain someone. But personally, from a personal level, if you're playing this, just get lost, explore. You know? That was a really great game, I really enjoyed that. It's one of the best looking games I've ever played. I think. I can't think of a game that looks better than that. The the technique they use, the photorealistic kind of technique, it's very underrated. Even though it kind of taxed my system a bit, I still enjoyed it. The story was really cool. I like the interweaving the trippy and the the imagination and the real, it's really cool. Even though there's little things in there that I didn't quite understand, I don't know if that's me or maybe one of you can clarify that, but things like Corvus and the Sleeper, it wasn't really fleshed out fully for me, I'm not sure. But overall, I kind of got a grip for the story. Paul Prosper was a creation by Ethan himself. Everything, everything you saw in the game is. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed watching this. It's been quite an interesting game. I've, it's been rare that I've played a game that interesting, to be honest. I think this is this is a game that's really been underrated. A lot of you should check it out. It's only 20 bucks. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this series, let me know. Leave a like or a comment or whatever. Uh, and yeah, I think most of you, if you did stick around, Tell me what you th tell me what you thought of the game. I'd like to know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with the credits. Take care and peace out.